Seeing my parents grow old uh, made me realize the importance of health and aging actively. Uh, my parents were very active and healthy until they were in their mid-80s. Before that, they were totally independent. Um, they lived in Canada by themselves. I never had to worry about them. After they turned mid-80s, things start to change. They become a lot more dependent. And that is tough, I have to say. You know, watching them grow old, um, it's difficult. But uh, taking care of them also helped me um, Number one, realize the importance of my own health and also teach me uh, humility, compassion and patience. My parents were very active and sociable all along and I think that is very important because um, as we grow older, uh, we should not feel that we are isolated or disconnected from other people. So um, I learned from my parents um, they go out all the time, have tons of friends, uh, play mahjong, dinner, dinner parties. Uh, my mom would celebrate every celebration for the sole reason that she says that, you know, otherwise life would be too boring. Um, so I learned from them and I think it's important as we grow old. Um, okay, in my humble opinion, okay, there are many things that uh, others can do to stay young. Emotionally, we should always fill our heart with love. To love and be loved, I think that's important. Be content. When you're content, you're more happy and also um, you're more willing to give. And be grateful as well. Okay, Give thanks to everything, your friends, your family, things that happen to you, things do happen for a reason. Um, and also be happy. I think that it's very important. We have to be happy with ourselves. People can feel the energies in you when you're happy. And when you have positive energies, people will be more drawn to you. That goes for people who are young and single, especially. <laughs> I think being positive is very important. As humans, we all worry, but um, worrying doesn't get you anywhere. So you worry, but you let go. Uh, in addition to that, um, I think we also have to be open-minded. As we get older, we cannot be so stubborn and we, we need to learn and grow just like all the younger generation do. Uh, we need to connect ourselves with technology, like grow with them. Don't build such a generation gap between you and you know, the, the younger group so that you can relate and you can connect. Um, and continuing to grow, it's very important. So do something that challenges you on a daily basis. Um, learn something new. And on the physical level, uh, we need to eat well, sleep well, um, stay active, um, and, and, and really make health your top priority. If your health is your top priority, spend time on being, maintaining your good health. One thing that is also important for me, it's uh, maintaining good posture, okay? Um, I see a lot of people, even though they're fairly young, but they, they sit like this, and they're like this. So when you look at them from the back, they look much older than their age. And quite honestly, when you sit up tall, okay, chin up high, chest open, shoulders down, I mean, it, not only that, you look younger and more, have more energy, the fact that you won't create any um, like poor posture that may affect your health. When you always sit like this, you compress into your lungs, you, you decrease your lung capacity as we get older. Um, it, that's why a lot of older people can't breathe so well. So learn to, to sit up tall, okay, engage your muscles, learn to build strength and flexibility in your body. Okay, those two go hand in hand. And when your muscles are stronger, it it's easier for you to sit up tall, maintain a good posture. And when you have a good posture, you maintain your health. Last but not the least, take care of your teeth. I just want to mention that. I think to stay young, uh, we should be young at heart, as always. Dream. Be inspired. Don't ever give up. <laughs>